Hi, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister, and today we're going to discuss proportional metrics. Now, proportional metrics are used in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean fonts. You may have a situation like a Japanese calendar where you want the characters going down the side of the page, and you want to adjust their metrics. If you need to work with an Asian CJK font, by the way, CJK stands for Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and you want to edit vertical glyph metrics and kerning, then just go to the File Preferences menu and turn on Asian CJK Font Editing. Now when you open the Metrics window, Window, Open Metrics window, I'm going to paste another character in there. You're going to notice that the glyphs are turned on their sides. This vertical mode allows you to edit height, top, and bottom instead of width or left and right values. You'll notice now that the dotted lines say T for top and B for bottom. So you can align the height instead of the width. Now clicking on this vertical icon up here will switch the mode back to horizontal and then back to vertical. Now, once you've adjusted this the way you want, I guess I'll just do a little adjustment here. When you generate the font in this CJK mode, Fontographer will generate some features that are very similar to the current features, but they're based on vertical kerning data. Now, something you need to know about is some of these features on the menu here, such as auto space, auto kern, kerning assistance, metrics assistance, set metrics, set width, equalized side bearing. These features only apply to horizontal metrics and kerning, so you can't use those features to edit the metrics of a vertical font. Now, the clear kerning command does apply to both horizontal and vertical kerning. And finally, for those of you who don't already know this, don't forget when you create a CJK font, you will need to install a CJK keyboard in order to have a way to enter characters once the font is installed. That'll get you started on creating a CJK font with proportional metrics. Thank you for watching the Fontographer tutorial series. Let us know if there's other topics you'd like to see covered in this series. And take a look at your Fontographer user manual for more details.